Okay guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to clean the M8812 or M887 Remington shotgun pump. Uh, it's right here. It's still all put together. I'm going to show you guys how to tear it apart, clean it, and see how it goes from there. Okay, for starters, I'm going to make sure she's unloaded all the way. Obviously it is for me. I'm going to take out the turkey choke. Maybe. I'm going to improvise here. I can't get enough leverage. There we go. This white thing right here is what I'm going to probably, I'm going to try to use for mounting my camera for you guys for when I'm bird hunting and stuff like that. So this is just your standard lead turkey choke. Not too. Got to crank this off in order to take out your barrel. Mine for some reason comes with the spring will come out on it for some reason. And then you'll have this little black piece here. And then once that's off, you can pull. It's going to be a little bit tough. But then you can pull your barrel off. Okay, now we got the barrel off. If you guys want to get down right and down into the real itty gritty stuff, you can pull the whole slide right off from right there. Oh, there goes the bolt. Okay, obviously you guys can see the slide. Here's our bolt, which I'm glad I pulled out because man is she. Man, that thing's dirty. The only reason I'm cleaning it today is because uh, this weekend I put a hundred and some or uh, about fifty some bullets through it, so it's a little bit on the dirty side. I mean, I like to keep my guns clean. Yeah, there's a. A lot of gunpowder residue on just about everything here. So, in here we have our just our general cleaning stuff in this case. I just got a uh, wire brush, a couple of stuff, you know, your, your rods, your wire brushes, your Bobs. Um, that's what's in this one. I'm gonna go real quick and grab my oil and stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. And in this kit, we got the rest of the uh, here cleaning supplies here. This is for the muzzle loaders. This is just your muzzle mag cleaner. Um, just some standard lubricating oil. This is for pulling through your barrel, um, kind of clean it out a little bit. Your uh, anti seize that works great on chokes. Other than that, that's really all that's in that. I also got everything that we're going to need out there. 
Okay. Um. Okay, so we got those in here. I'm gonna start probably with my bolt and getting that all cleaned up and what I do for that is I just have a uh, few of these little you know cloths and then what you can do is just kind of clean it off You want to make sure that you get when you clean this you also want to make sure that you lubricate it when you're done because after you're done cleaning it you just took all your lubrication off your gun so you want to make sure that that firing pin is good and clean Just a minute, guys. Um, so now that we got this bolt all clean here, um, with this particular gun, it has a twisting chamber, so this piece will move a little bit. Um, you got your shield that goes over top of it. This is just what came off of the bolt alone. Now we're going to clean our barrel. I'm going to start with this. And what I do with this is I'm obviously going to have to get my uh, ramrod here. It's just a little three piece section. And I'm going to need to get, I'm going to use this one and this one. This here is just your adapter so that way you can put your bigger pieces on. And then this black piece here that I'm putting also on is for, this black piece here you can use to stick if you fold these up. You fold these up, you can slide them in here. Kind of like so. And you can just kind of push it through the barrel. If you're going to do it at your mom's kitchen table, kind of like I am, I recommend you have something to uh, catch all the crap that kind of falls out of your barrel. Because, uh, yeah, my mom don't my mom don't care for that too much. And it does sometimes tend to make a mess. What I do after I'm done doing that is I'll grab my just it's a piece I think of wool. And then I'll put that on here. This'll do a better job. That there was just kinda show you guys how it worked. And I'll put this through the barrel. This is what really cleans up that barrel. Oh yeah, that barrel's nice and clean now. Then I'll take that piece off. Get the wire brush. Because there's a little bit of a... Uh, looks like rust or corrosion or something from the gunpowder so what we'll do is we'll just take this wire brush and kind of just kind of try to loosen that up
Then what we're gonna do is grab our wool here again. Put it back through, see if we can get that to come out. Yeah, look at that, we got it out. Yep, came out. Okay, so now we're going to take this off. That piece here is probably going to be done. Um, after that, I'm going to... Where's that piece at? Take that off. Um, set the barrel off to the side here, show you guys how I clean the slide. This little black piece right here that I'm going to take off, this little piece is one of the most important pieces in order to get your bolt back into the, your chamber. So whatever you do, you guys do not want to lose that. What I do to clean the slide is just real quick, just kind of wipe it down it doesn't usually all that dirty it's just kind of dusty and stuff um that off to the side here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it down use a bit a little bit of oil it'll shine her up good um i gotta get in here get out my other, my other cloth. These cloths are made of cotton and they're bigger. I like using these over the thin ones for doing the oiling process. Um, what I use for lubricant is Hopper's number nine just gun oil. Um, a lot of people prefer to use Remington oil. Um, I haven't really seen a difference in it. You don't need a lot, you just need a few drops. A little bit will go a really long ways. It'll just kind of help with the rust if you put it on your barrel and kind of helps it shine up a little bit. Kind of buffs out a few of the scratches, I'm sure. If you got scratches in it. It does make it a little bit slick to hang on to at first, but Usually, what you do is, um, when I'm done, I'll take uh, another rag, kind of just wipe it down real gentle to kind of buff off all the excess oil. Okay, now that that barrel is all lubed up on the outside, I still got to do the inside, obviously. But, um, that oil will actually get a lot of dirt off, too. I don't know if you guys can really see it on the camera. Um, what I'm going to do now is the stock. I'm going to oil that up here real quick. But before I do that, I'm going to kind of just wipe this down here. Okay, now well, that's wiped down here. I'm going to kind of just get a new rag just for the stock because the stock is uh, not nowhere near as bad. Just a drop there and a drop there is all you're going to need. Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a shine to it. And uh, what it does is helps get some of the dirt off without having to use soap and water on your gun. I've never really liked using water on a gun. Um, and it does help keep the dirt off when you're out in the elements. 
Um, but yeah. Up over here to the other side. Okay, now the stock's all done. Um, after the stock, I'm gonna just uh, I'll do this when I put it back on. I'm gonna do the bolt here real quick. For the bolt, you only need one drop. Because if you do use too much oil on your bolt, it'll make it slide too easy, and, there is, and it will collect dirt a lot easier. That's one thing you don't want in your gun is dirt, especially in the bolt. That's why I'm a freak when it comes to cleaning off my guns. After About after every 100 rounds or every 50 rounds, I clean my guns because... I don't like all the residue and everything like that in my gun. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to put just a little bit of oil in the barrel here. And how I'm going to do that, I'm just going to grab one of these cloths and my rod. And we're going to put the little black thing back on there again. We're going to fold the cloth, you kind of want it to be a little bit on the thicker side when you're, oh shit. when you're oiling it because that way you're making sure you get more of the barrel with the oil and I just put a drop on each side oh shit then what I'll do is I'll take it just real quick kind of swirl it around in that barrel there and then all nice and oiled in the inside of the barrel. Some people will just put the oil right in the barrel and then hold the gun upside down. I find that to be not as efficient as just putting just a few drops of oil on the rag and then putting it in. If you do it that way, I mean, that's fine, but it seems like you'll use up oil a lot faster. So, um, that's how I clean my 12 gauge that's about it um i'm going to show you guys how to reassemble it here for starters what we're going to do is we're going to have to put the slide in first and the bolt so this is where this little black piece will come in handy like i told you guys you would need it earlier what you do is this little black piece is a brace that helps keep your i'm putting it on wrong helps keep your arms on the gun spread on your slide spread it apart so that way when you sit your bolt on here I did put that on backwards I had to take this black piece back off here Um, gotta put it on like that. There you go. Okay, there's a little groove here, 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 and here. Have you guys seen that? Eh? That one here, here, and here, and here. 
your bolt has yeah there we go your bolt has a notch here a notch here a notch here and a notch here those will all line up perfectly with those grooves on the slide and then what you do is very very carefully you don't really want to knock it off because it is a pain in the butt for when you're first starting to get it in it's going to be a little bit tough to get in but once you get it in it, it it's pretty easy um, so that's how I get the slide to go in then after the slide you're just going to pull your slide up tight don't want to pull it out but just up tight to where that button for your bullet releases comes back and then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of slide your barrel back down in once your barrel is in you'll take your spring, put your spring back in if yours don't come out, well good good for you <laughs> if you do push it in far enough it will stay in but um usually that thing there is what makes the clicking noise I believe and let me know that it's tight though Don't need to be too tight, just finger tight. Then just kind of run it back and forth a little bit. So that is how I clean my 12 gauge M80 M887 Remington shotgun pump. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.